Well, hello, all my friends. Welcome back to the channel. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. I'm T of Crumpus Tea and Sewing here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Thank you for joining us today. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the patterns that I purchased from the Simplicity latest collection. So this is the spring 2022 collection. And I am excited to share with you all, all the patterns that I have purchased from this collection. So I'm going to give you my thoughts and impressions on these patterns, as well as doing a little mini pattern and, and fabric pairing. So you can see um, some of my ideas that I have with some of the fabrics that I have in my stash. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and get into the video. This is the first pattern that I picked up. I really love this pattern. It comes in sizes. So the size range is six to 14 and 16 to 24. You have, let's see, four different variations here of a loose fitting top. Uh, you have uh, different sleeve length variations as well. But as you can see with the longer sleeves, you have this, uh, this really nice bishop sleeve at the, the end, but it's a three quarter length sleeve. You have elastic around the, around the end of the sleeve there. And I love this pattern because with this version here, version D, it has this really nice keyhole opening and you have a tie up at the neckline. I thought that this was really cute. So even though this is like a really simple basic pattern block here uh, that you see in a lot of the different big four pattern companies, you can actually find a loose fitting top that has this V neckline. But I really liked the the keyhole opening and that's what drew me in and that's why i decided to purchase this pattern this pattern calls for chambray lawn rayon silky type fabrics and soft cottons so i really like this and um, i was thinking about making something with this here so it's so cute uh, this is a fabric that I just recently purchased from fabric.com. It is a rayon fabric. It's very drapey. It is a navy blue uh, fabric that has green polka dots on it. And I love this fabric. And I think that this would look so lovely in uh, view D. So I thought about doing that and I have three yards of this fabric so I could definitely get a matching set and you all know I love my matching sets and if you haven't seen my video yet on how I create my matching sets and the type of matching sets that I have in my Mimi wardrobe I'll put an i card up here and you could go over and watch that video but I really love this this uh view D here and I think a really nice polka dot fabric would look so nice with this now this pattern calls for four different pieces but I'm assuming that because you have different sleeve length variations you might have two different sleeve patterns you also have two different neck line variations as well so that's the front pattern is probably going to be two different patterns as well um, so you have this rounded keyhole opening and then you have this v neckline opening as well so you're going to have those two different pattern pieces as well i also like view b it has this elasticated waistline so you have like this uh peplum that forms below the waistline because of that elastic in the waistline which i think is really cool um, and then also, like I said, you have the different sleeve length variations. So I really do think that this is going to be a really cute and fun pattern. I also picked up this pattern here, which is a fun little cute skirt pattern. So it also comes in ranges uh, 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. Skirt A and B, you have a pleated skirt with a waistband and the uh, the pattern calls for a zipper. So that's going to function as your closure. And then uh, you have two different length variations. And then for view C and D, it's the same skirt, two different length variations. You have this yoke that's at the top of the skirt here. You also have a waistband. You also are going to be using uh, a zipper for your closure. And then you have a gathered skirt. And again, two different length variations. So I purchased this pattern because I like this version here with the yoke here. You don't see that many patterns out right now that have this yoke. And so I thought this might um, be another great 
uh, pattern to have in my my stash as well. This pattern calls for Shally Charmeuse Cotton Blends Crepe de Chine Double Georgette Silky Tight Fabrics. And so I thought that if I were to make a matching set, I would use the remainder of this fabric after making the top that I just showed you and I would make the skirt here. And I think that it would be a really cute matching set. So anyway, uh, yeah, really love that and the pattern. And I think that the, the fabric and the patterns will go really well with one another. Next, I picked up the Simplicity S9478, which is a pattern for Intimates. And um, it's by Madeline Intimates, even though it's a Simplicity pattern. And you have these uh, different variations of a bralette and then also a panty. And you have uh, three different variations here. You do need lace for this project. So especially for view A, you need stretch lace and mesh as well, like Renette. Uh, you can also do a contrast for view A and a double galloon edge stretch light lace as well. And then for views B and C, it's calling for spandex knit and lycra knit mesh fabrics. And then for your lining, you're also going to need a stretch mesh or some type of power net or power net mesh, um, those types of fabrics. So I have a few fabrics in my stash that I think will work, especially for the panties. I'm not quite for certain about the bralette yet, but um, I think that this is going to be a fun pattern for Valentine's Day. So I'm thinking about making a few intimates uh, for Valentine's Day. Uh, just um, something that um, I could wear um, for that intimate um, occasion. I also so, picked up the Simplicity S9473, which is a cute little top or not top sorry it's a cute dress that has princess themes you have two different necklines and you also have an option to make a jacket you have an option where you can make uh, the dress with sleeves and also a little belt and then you also have the sleeveless variations and as I mentioned before you have two different neckline variations so you have this really high boat neckline and then you also have a modest uh, v neckline as well and then you have the jacket that you can um, also make and so the jacket has a side front on the front of the garment and then on the back you have your side back so you do have princess seams for the jacket as well the jacket doesn't have a collar and you have a three-quarter length sleeve uh, let me see I don't think that it's lined but it doesn't tell me on the back of the envelope whether it's lined or not so I don't know if the jacket's lined uh, but I'm sure you could probably do it with or without lining. The total pieces in this pattern is 18 pieces. The fabrics call for cotton blends, crepe back satin, double uh, knit, linen blends, poplin, and sateen. And you will need a zipper for the dress because it's going to go at the center back. So yeah really cute modest i thought that this would be cute for like a sunday type dress to wear to church services and i'm going to show you the fabric so this is a piece that i purchased um, this is a cotton sateen fabric and i purchased this from hobby lobby i think maybe three or four years ago now you all know um, hobby lobby don't really carry a lot of cotton sateen fabrics and so when i saw this i really jumped on it because i thought hey this would be really cute as a little dress a spring dress and so i really think that these two would look really well together especially the version with the v neckline and the three-quarter length sleeve um I don't know if I would be able to fit this sleeve pattern because I have a bigger bicep. So I would probably make this into like a puff sleeve um, or something like that, just so that I can actually get the width of the, the fabric um, in that bicep area with the benefit of having a more fitted bodice. Next, I picked up this pattern here, which is the Simplicity S9467. This is a type of baby doll top. It has a yoke and then you have below that yoke, there are some uh, gathers here on the front and left side of the uh, top. And you also have buttons going down the center front of the garment. You have cuffs on 
the sleeve for all versions, but well, for A, B, and C, D does not have any sleeves. You don't have any sleeves for view D. Now the, the sleeve, you have two different sleeve variations here. Um, the sleeve for view A looks like it's just a straight, simple sleeve with a modest uh, cuff that has, you know, a modest width. And then for view B, it looks like you have gathering on the sleeve head here, the lower half of the, of the sleeve looks like it's going to have quite a bit of, uh, fabric in the sleeve that you're going to be gathering and then you're going to put that cuff on the sleeve uh, and as I said with view D you don't have a sleeve and for version C and D you have the stand-up collar here on the neckline and for versions A and B you have the the collar and then you also have a collar band for that uh, view now I don't know why I picked up this pattern to be honest with you I feel like I have mixed feelings with this. I don't know if this type of a top would look good on me or not, but I'm willing to give it a try just to see um, if it would be something that would be suitable for me. This pattern comes with 13 pieces and it's um, calling for fabrics like your, your woven type fabrics. You're going to be using cottons, cotton blends, dotted Swiss, cotton lawns, you know, those types of um, fabrics. You can also use charmeuse and shirtings and silky type fabrics and voles. So I think that that is a really great pattern because it's very versatile. And I thought about uh, using this fabric here that I purchased from Fabric Mart Fabrics. And this is a stretch cotton fabric. It's a shirting, but it's um, it's a really lightweight stretch shirting fabric. I really need to increase my, my solids in my wardrobe. So I don't have a lot of solids in my wardrobe. So I really need to increase um, my wardrobe with solid be mates. So I thought about something like this and then for the buttons, uh, my good friend Miranda over on Instagram, she sent me these beautiful buttons for Valentine's Day and she purchased these from Pigeon Wishes. So she's based out of the UK and I really love these buttons. They are, uh, you have a hint of orange and then you have um, some white and some pink colors in it. It's just, it's a really great, it has like a gradient in the buttons and I think it's so cute. And I thought that this would be a good combination here. Um, now I know this is a good combination, but I don't know if the, of, if the fabric and the button should be paired with this particular top pattern. But uh, yeah, I just I just had some thoughts of uh, what I could make with this for Valentine's Day. So if I don't use that fabric, I would use this fabric. This is a fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. Space there for a minute. I purchased this from Joanne Fabrics and it's a cotton shirt shirting fabric. It's such a gorgeous fabric. It has very small floral details on it, which I think would be really nice for someone of my frame. I think it's really, really cool. And I think that these buttons here would be so fun and cute um, because it has a lot of the same colors in the buttons. Um, it has it in the fabric. And so I really think that that would be really cute as well. So again, not sure if this is the type of pattern that would look good with that, but uh, I'm willing to give it some thought here. So I'm going to be doing like a Galentine uh, project with my friend Miranda who uh, purchased these buttons for me. And I think that that would be just darling, just gorgeous. So anyway, if you know of a different top pattern that I can use with these buttons and um, either this fabric or this uh, the stretch pink fabric, let me know because I'm not quite for certain this is the pattern. But I do know that these buttons 
are the buttons for either this this type of fabric or this fabric here so yeah let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on that i also picked up this mimi g pattern it's the simplicity s9463 and what i like about the mimi g patterns is um you always have that sew along that comes with it so even though she usually have patterns that have above you know 20 pieces uh, she always have the sew along and so that's really helpful and really nice and i really like it but this pattern here you have 19 pieces and you have two different variations so you're not using all of the 19 pieces which i think is really great uh, for a mimi g pattern and i really like the fabric choices as well the fabrics are denim linen types poplin rayon cotton sateen shirtings and twill so I really like this style of dress. I really like this version here that has like this little flounce on the bottom of the skirt. And um, you also have, you're going to be putting a band on the end of the sleeve as well. The back has a yoke. You have some darting in the back for the bodice and for the skirt. For shaping, you have um, a belt that you can make to put on the dress as well. You have two different uh, dresses here so you have just a close fitting dress and then you have this fit and flare dress which I really think is cute you have a collar and a collar stand um, you have a yoke on the front of the bodice as well and then you have pockets that you're placing up at the, by the breast and then you have this really nice wide uh, button placket down the front the center front of the garment and these really nice uh, pockets on the side as well so it's a very cute pattern very detailed but I really love the look. I love the style. So I do have uh, this piece here, which I purchased from fabric.com this past year. And it's a, it's a really nice cotton fabric. And I believe it's a cotton sateen. And it has a nice little weight to it on the back. It has, um, it's, it has a black background here on the back. And so it's a really nice uh, stable knit, or not knit, sorry, stable fabric, woven fabric. It has a little bit of stretch in it, uh, but I think that this would be really cute for this here. Or if I didn't use this fabric for this, I could definitely use it for this pattern here. This pattern here, which is the Simplicity S9468. This pattern here is a jacket pattern. You have four different variations of a jacket. Um, and the variations include neckline variations as well as length variations. So I think it's really cool. So you can do uh, a variation that has like a band at the bottom of the sleeve. Or you can do a variation that don't have a band at, at the sleeve. There are also different pocket placements as well. I think this view here is very interesting where you only have uh, one pocket on the front of the gar garment. So I think that's really interesting. Uh, these different collars here are interesting. You have this collar that has like this notch collar here and then you just have one that's more like a band. And then you have different closures as well. Like this is, I think you have a little, a little loop here that you're placing on the garment and then also a button and then you put that loop around the button. This one looked like it's gonna be a snap. So yeah, I think that this is a really cool jacket. It has a drop shoulder. So that's really good for someone like me who have uh, very broad shoulders as well as I have issues fitting my bicep. And so this drop shoulder, usually drop shoulders have a little bit more room in the sleeve. And so that would be really nice because there's a chance that I don't have to do any kind of bicep adjustment. So I think this would be a really fun, cool pattern, just something uh, to, to have so that you can walk out at a house with and just have something, you know, just to, to keep warm. So this is an easy to sew pattern. So I think that that's going to be fun, simple, and easy. So I thought about, yeah, that might be something that I can use with this fabric as well. So again, if I don't use this for that, I would use this pattern for, for this. Uh, the fabric choices are linen, cotton, chambray, denim, rayon, double gauze, and poplin type fabrics.
Here's a plus size pattern. This is the Simplicity S9476. And this is a plus size pattern that have um, different sleeve variations, different length variations of a dress. You have princess seams and you also have this uh, waist tie or this waist belt that you can make that you are going to put at the waistline there. It has a V neckline and as you can see the model is wearing it and so it has quite a bit of a dip there. I would raise that so that I'm not uh, uh, showing so much of my cleavage but I think it's a really gorgeous, gorgeous dress. I really like the flutter sleeve there. It has gathers at the sleeve head there. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice, I think, um, dress that would be really perfect for, again, su Sunday services. This pattern calls for 15 different pieces and you are using fabrics such as brocade, charmeuse, cotton blends, crepe, uh, damask, dupani, shantung, um, jacquard, silky type fabrics, taffeta, ponte, knits, those types of fabrics. I really like the cut and I like the fit of the dress. So I was thinking about uh, possibly giving it a try. And the fabric that I would most likely use is this fabric here, which is a fabric that I purchased from Joann's a few years ago. They had this line of fabrics. I cannot remember uh, the type of fabric it is. I believe it's a, a polyester and it has a little bit of stretch in the fabric. Not much. It's maybe 2% at most. And it's a silky fabric. And so I really like it. It's drapey and it, it has some weight to it. It's definitely one of those medium weight, medium to heavy weight, uh, silky type fabrics. And so I really like it and I've had it for a number of years and it's time for me to get ready to get it out of my stash. So I thought this would make a really gorgeous spring dress um, if I made this version here, view A. And again, I would definitely raise that neckline up a bit. So this is the Simplicity S9479. And I know at first glimpse of this pattern, many of you are probably saying, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> um, but I think that view C, these pants with the slanted pockets that have this really nice um, medium sized waistband and it has a side zipper. Uh, I think this view here, view C, is going to be so cute and so fun. Um, I would not wear it the way that the model is wearing it. I would probably lengthen my my pants here. Um, and then this is a this is a skirt. View D is a skirt. So I think that these two would be just a really great uh, garment there. Uh, but I would definitely lengthen the pants so that um, they are full length instead of like a capri pant. And I really like it. Um, it calls for, for view C and D, it's calling for chambray, cotton blends, linen blends. Um, I think you say that, paquet, paquet or whatever, San, uh, sateen, sorry, seersucker scratch wovens, double knit, and ponte. Now, I ordered some fabric from Minerva, and I think that the fabric that I ordered, so it's a ponte knit, I think that this view here is going to look so good. Um, and if I can find the picture of the fabric that I ordered, I'll put it here on the screen. But it is such a really nice fabric, and I think that um, this view here in uh, a ponte knit would be so fun and so cute and so nice to wear. So I really like um, this pattern for view C and maybe view D. I like that it's an easy to sew pattern if you so decide to make views A and B. Uh, they are very easy as well. You have a dolman sleeve for view B and for view A it's sleeveless. For view B, you have buttons going down the center front. And for view A, there are no buttons going down the center front. So here's your back um, line art here. 
I think it's going to be a really great pattern for view C and possibly view D. Lastly, I picked up this uh, father and son or men and boy pattern. It's Simplicity S9482. It comes in sizes small to extra large. Now, I believe that you're getting both uh, patterns in here. It says that um, boys and men's track suit. The boys version is small to large and the men's version is small to extra large. So I'm hoping that you're getting both versions in here. I don't know. It feels kind of thin um, to have two separate pattern pieces for men's and boys, but we'll see. Um, I like this view here. So the top here, view A with view B pants for Jace, or maybe even view C shorts for Jace in the summer. Um, I'm not quite for certain if my husband would actually wear anything like this. He's not a tracksuit person, so I wouldn't even attempt to make the top for him because he would not wear it. But for Jace, I would definitely like to make this tracksuit for him. And I, I like the different variations that you have here. Uh, the pants are just regular pants. Um, it looks like you're going to be m maybe working with four pattern pieces for the pants and maybe two or three pattern pieces for the shorts. So it's just an elasticated waist, very simple and easy to sew. Uh, for the jacket, you're going to have a little bit more pattern pieces for that. It's saying that it's 12 pieces. So I don't know if it's 12 pieces for the boys or 12 pieces for the guys or both. I really like all the patterns that I was able to get in this haul. There were a few other patterns that I had considered, uh, but I think these are the ones that I am more likely to sew um, out of this collection. I was a little bit more surprised with this collection that I actually came out with things that I actually like in this collection uh, versus the previous collection. I wasn't so uh, excited for the previous collection, but these are a lot of patterns here that I would most likely sew and also have a good time sewing them. And so I was really pleased with uh, most of the patterns in this collection. So if you have any thoughts that you want to leave, uh, please make sure that you leave them in the comment section below. Tell me if you have purchased any of these or if you like any of these patterns or if you have plans to sew any of these patterns, uh, please leave your thoughts below and let me know what you think of the latest spring collection for Simplicity. I hope you all had fun watching this pattern haul and the fabric and pattern pairing and I hope you all have a happy and blessed sewing day. Until next time, stay creative. Bye!